In this nugget, we will be looking at the harbour process. The harbour process was discovered by Fritz Haber, who was a famous German chemist, and it was developed to produce ammonia from hydrogen and nitrogen. Around 176 million tonnes of ammonia are produced annually, and almost 80% of this ammonia is used to make fertilisers. But did you know? Carl Bosch first industrialised the harbour process in 1913, and sometimes it is referred to as the Harbour-Bosch process. The harbour process involves taking nitrogen, which is liquefied from the air, and reacting it with hydrogen, which is obtained by reacting natural gases with steam to produce ammonia. The overall equation for this process is shown here. N2 gas plus 3H2 gas will produce two lots of NH3 gas. This happens at extreme conditions and those used in the harbour process are a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius, a pressure of 200 atmospheres, and over beds of iron metal catalysts. The reaction is also reversible, so Le Chatelier's principles will apply, and the conditions are chosen to maximise the yield of ammonia, recycling any unreacted hydrogen and nitrogen gases. The first stage of the process is to mix the hydrogen and nitrogen inside a large compressor. Here, it is mixed with any recycled unreacted gases where it reaches the required pressure of 200 atmospheres. At the same time, it is heated up to a reaction temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. The energy and equipment costs to run at these conditions is extremely high. The chosen conditions are often described as a compromise and the actual yield of ammonia is about 30% at these conditions. After leaving the compressor, the hydrogen and nitrogen, which are now under high pressure and high temperature, enter the reaction vessel. They pass over beds of iron catalyst, which speed up the rate of the reaction. The reaction is reversible, so, as ammonia begins to form, it also breaks down back into the original reactants. This means the reaction vessel contains a mixture of nitrogen, hydrogen and ammonia, which then passes to the condenser. The three gases, hydrogen, nitrogen and ammonia, all leave the reaction vessel and now enter into the condenser, where they are cooled down. As the coolant moves in and out of the condenser, the temperature drops low enough for the ammonia to liquefy or condense into a liquid. The hydrogen and nitrogen still remain gases at this temperature, which means the ammonia can be easily separated from the mixture. Since Le Chatelier's principle applies to this reversible reaction, removing ammonia shifts the position of equilibrium to the right, and the forward reaction is favoured, encouraging the production of more ammonia. The unreacted hydrogen and nitrogen are then recycled back to the compressor. To summarise, the Harbour process was developed by Fritz Harbour and industrialised by Carl Bosch in 1913. It takes nitrogen from the air and hydrogen from reacting methane with steam, then reacts them to produce ammonia. The conditions needed for this reaction are a temperature of 450 degrees C, a pressure of 200 atmospheres, and an iron catalyst. The reactants are heated and pressurised in a compressor before entering the reaction vessel. Ammonia is separated in the condenser as it liquefies, and any unreacted nitrogen and hydrogen are recycled back to the compressor. Keywords Ammonia compound containing nitrogen and hydrogen with the formula NH3. Catalyst Substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without being used up in the reaction. Condense To turn from a gas into a liquid. Reactants The starting substance in a chemical reaction. Reversible reaction A chemical reaction in which the products of a reaction 
can reform into the reactants. Actual yield, the amount of product actually obtained from a reaction.